Welcome back. You're still watching Politics Tonight, digging beyond the headlines. And now to our interview with the first guest of the day. I am now joined by a lawyer and member of caretaker committee of PDP in Kano State, Habibu Usman Adamu, for discussion on Kano PDP crisis and the 2023 elections. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you very much. All right. Let's get down to business. You know, there is going to be a three-pronged war in Kano State involving the camps of Governor Ganduje, former governors Kwakwanso and Shikarau for the 2023 elections. What is the political implication of this for Kano State? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, actually, let me start by saying historically, all the three you are mentioning happen to be the same if you go back to 1998 before the first republic what brought all the subsequent uh, governments and then thereafter some of you in very volatile and uh, very uh, sophisticated and elite cosmopolitan uh, uh, so sometimes you find that there must be some kind of few rumpers here and there and then this agreement here and there because of the awareness politically so as we come along then the division began to appear. If you are according to what you are saying, three political groups, Bonkoso and uh, Gandhi were uh, governor and deputy governor in the same PDP, 1999, up to uh, the first time. Then there is some division, disagreement, and the party police. Then thereafter, then another formation came in, whereby again to cut it short, they reunited again. Then thereafter, then the regime of AMPP came in, in between the two of them, for eight days. That is uh, the government led by uh, Dr. Ibrahim Shekharov. For eight years under the platform of EMP. So, uh, not in the uh, AMPM. Right? Yes. So, uh, thereafter, again, then there seems to be another kind of reunion which failed. So, the focus has to go and then from late and then from an MPP. And then uh, uh, when we join APC. So with whatever we are seeing, the three areas we are talking, originally, initially they are nothing. It's only this agreement here and there, which is prevalent in virtually over other parties across the country. So as far as we are concerned, we don't see it as so much of uh, a problem. But the only idea here is who actually has the majority. Yeah. Who actually uh, has more people so as to uh, win the election. Which uh, I felt still, PDP being the police was established, the most widely spread, still, still up to now, have an age over the two. Hello? I can hear you. Please go ahead. Uh -huh. So, So, 
All right. Uh, um, these are three formidable forces. But then, the presidential candidate of the NNPP, Kwakwa Sir, is a former governor of the state and former member of the PDP. Do you see this as a big minus for your party? Hello? Uh, the former governor, uh, Kwa Kwanso, is the presidential candidate of the NNPP and he was a former member of your party. So I'm asking, do you see this as a big minus for your party in Kano State? Come on, come on again. The presidential come candidate... Come on again. Uh, I didn't get you well. All right, I will repeat this. The, the presidential candidate of the oh, NNPP yeah. is a former governor of the state, Rabi Musa Kwakwansu, and is also the former member of the PDP. Do you see this as a big minus for your party in Kano State? Well, actually, you know, as far as uh, party politics is concerned, when you have a minus of one, it makes a difference. So we are not saying actually it may not mean much to us, but not all that it wouldn't make much difference to the extent that PDP will fail in Kano. No. But whatever we are saying, whenever you lose a member, even if it means one, because it is a game of numbers, mm -hmm. whereby you fail to you, you lose one, it means something. But uh, not necessarily that uh, uh, means to the extent that uh, it will affect the PDP uh, uh, popularity, chances of winning. No. Still, PDP is still strong, and we are sure, by God's grace, it will still uh, win Kano, despite the, all the other two areas. The, 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 the difference is clear. The, the performances, of the present uh, APC in Kano, what they are doing, and then how discontented uh, the public are, how disappointed the people are. So uh, I don't see much uh, much uh, problem. But the only thing what we are saying is, as far as parties, uh, the politics is concerned, you don't really wish to lose any one member. But I was just trying to, to appreciate the fact that uh, before 1998, 1998, 1999 uh, election, all the things we are talking are all in the same camp, in the same group. All right. Uh, the APC is still in control of the state. So uh, how will you rate your party's chances in the state in 2023? Well, they, that's what I was just telling you. The performance of the present uh, government in Congo, that is APC government. It's, it, it is uh, what people will, uh, will judge. And that's what we have been hearing and we have been seeing. And we know that their rating is terribly low now. To the extent that we don't even give them a chance. And even the other one being an MPP is just so new to the extent that it has, it, there is no spread whatsoever. It is just uh, completely uh, centralized within the Kano municipality. That's all. So when we are talking about uh, 44 local governments spread across the state, somebody is just concentrating within the same metropolitan area of about uh, two or three local governments. Uh, after all, you don't need to even waste your time thinking that you give them a chance of winning. No. No, not at all. But Kenya has been there. And originally, we, are the, we, are, we, we have already established and we set up the government, the, the, the first government, second, ten years, and everything for about 16 years. So, the uh, is a PDP state. So, I, I don't think we are all uh, spread and with our own uh, output, with our own workings, with our own efforts, and what we have done, which is glaringly there. Everybody can see it there. So I don't think uh, we have much fear in, in delivering uh, a kind of a PDP. Absolutely. No okay. sure. You know, some analysts looked at uh, the power of incumbency and uh, insinuating that your presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, may lose Kano State in the election. How would you react to that? Uh, well, actually, it's just uh, uh, here, see. Somebody who has been away from it and then he has been uh, 
uh, brainwash or uh, being uh, being fed with uh, false analysis, data, and all these sort of things. One funny thing is that our this income that you are talking is that it is the same Konkoso who was there during his past tenure that was defeated by another party. So, so I don't I don't think it works here in Kano. He was there during his first tenure, and then he was defeated. Instead of having the uh, return for the second term, so he doesn't apply here. The people are so volatile and so enlightened; they know what they want. They can easily assess. So uh, we have no fear. And with what we are seeing right away now, with what we are hearing, we are seeing politically. So and then with the performance of the present government, we need, it's just a matter of. Time, 2023, just a matter of time. Absolutely, we know that we can make it. And uh, I assure you, by the grace of God, Atiku is going to not get in 25%. He's going to absolutely have a landslide here in Kano. There is no doubt about that. All right. yeah. We are just waiting for time. It was important to ask that question because uh, the PDP in Kano State is factionalized. Is there any hope for general reconciliation with about 58 days to the 2023 elections? Absolutely, yes. I can assure you of that. We are just on the way. With all this, you know, when tempest rises, and then people get a little annoyed, and then you have to pacify them, you have to go around, talk to this one, talk to this. And I assure you, and you will say, I tell you, definitely we are on the way of reconciliation. Despite the, in some of the court cases you are hearing, we are definitely on the way. The leaders here are out there for it. And those concerned, those involved, are actually now ready to reconcile. And we will be the same one strong. And then we will fight for the same thing. And I assure you that PDP will be one and strong, and then we will win. We are going to win it. We are already on it. It is a process that has to go slowly. We have to first fight each and other, give and take kind of a situation. So we are hoping, and we have seen the sign. We have seen the agreement, which is just a matter of time. Everything will be OK, and then we will come to the table dine together, talk together, mm -hmm. agree with it together, sign you know, agreement, and everything will be up of the first, normal. Well, talking about um, court cases, just uh, last week, the Court of Appeal reinstated Mohamed Abacha as your party's governorship candidate against Sadiq Aminuwali. Uh, what is the way forward? That's exactly where I'm pointing at. You see, uh, as I tell you that, it is when somebody gets a little bit annoyed or slighted, and then only what you need to do when two people are fighting, mostly politically or this election matter or something like that, if somebody, because of the provision of the law, the constitutional or the electoral law, what it provides is that when you are offended and you feel hearted, then you can seek a redress. But sometimes, probably, after some kind of localization, touching here, touching there, then one can give in. It's give and take. Okay, this is the main reason why somebody goes to court. Oh, this is why the other one was taken to court. There will be some adjustment between them. You know, give and take. You allow this, and I allow this. And then we we'll come back, and then we we'll reconcile. And then we we'll go. Because after all, the aim and the objective is the same. We are aiming at the same thing. It is the same party. And we are doing it not because of some personal aggrandizement or personal interest, but that of the people of Kano State. Mm. Everybody wants to serve Kano State. So if that is the same case, 
There is no hard and fast rule that we cannot uh, reconcile. And that's what I'm telling you. Going to court, it is everybody's right. If you felt offended, you can go to court because that is a provision in the, in the, the party itself, in the constitution of the country, in the electoral law. If you are you felt offended, you can go. But it is you, it is your own right. When you felt offended and then you are first spied and then you either whatever way, then you can go and withdraw. After all, you take yourself to the court. Not that you, or you, you, you commit any uh, felon uh, offense against the state. No, it is between one person and between A and B. So if at all, after perspiring, after persuasion, after you know, reconciling, all, all this uh, sort of uh, uh, litigation will be withdrawn. And then you will see people the same thing, sitting down on the same table, doing the same thing, and then fighting for the same cause. And then we we'll go to our rallies, we we'll win our elections from top to bottom. So there is no big deal about these things. So it's not a big deal, it's not difficult. So whether anybody from outside is seeing that probably this will jeopardize the chances of PDP, no, I say no. And then we are on top of that thing, and by God's grace, we are going to reconcile and we will come on top. All no right. problem. All right then. Uh, but you know, this crisis is involving two prominent families in Kano State, the Abatas and the Wallis. As a stakeholder, would you say this is more about ego or indeed politics? Well, uh, I cannot say ego or anything because. They are two very lovable, very prominent, very highly regarded families. Nobody can doubt the two of them, originally, since, even before the advent of the two uh, contestants. So I don't think this will be trying to show somebody it's bigger or it's more powerful or anything. No, 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 no. That's how people from outside, they will perceive it or they will perceive it or anything. No. But, well, if you say politics, yes, because that's what brought it. But what we are saying is all of them are so young, exuberant, vibrant, wanted to serve, as their parents or grandparents did to Kano State. You know, everybody wanted to do it. Mm. The exuberance is there. The urge is there. That's the only thing. But I don't think it is a matter of ego showing who is more powerful, who is more big or whatever. No, 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 not at all. Because their parents, their relations, their families live well and amicably very well. They live together up to the end of some of their uh, things. Because their grandparents are no more. And the, even the other one you are talking, his own fa father has served this video. They are the initial initiators who, from, who founded the PDP, Ambassador Amin Wali. And then when you are talking about General Sani Abad, everybody knows what, what all these people have served and they have done. And none of them will tell you that they have we kept all these children at home to teach them to go and be antagonistic, silly, uh, fighting each other or trying to spoil their family's name. No. We have seen it. Because everybody, not even we from Kano State, even outside within the country, they know the two families, the two key members, how they serve this country. And they would never allow, say, okay, go and start killing yourself because you want to serve. We have to serve. Mm. So it is purely in politics. And then it is one of those things in politics. So I, I, I don't think it is able. No, 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 no. Not showing who is who, who is powerful. It is just the ego of the contestants themselves. The people involved direct. Everyone wants to serve. So let, let us look at it at that because that's what it is. But left alone, not their families. All right. Their families. They are very, very valuable to anybody in Karuse who knows them. And they served their own town and they did it very well. All right. Now, you're a member of the caretaker committee uh, in charge of the PDP in Kano State. How is this committee piloting the affairs of the party in the state? Yeah, well, yes. We have been there for nearly about two months plus. And uh, how we came in, if I may say that, 
is just part of the reconciliation steps the National Party wanted to come in when this problem started in Kano State. Mm. Instead of say, okay, now you are the victim or you are the vanquished. Now let us get new therapy, which is always the practice with PDP or any uh, responsible parties in the country. When there are two six, two people fighting, two giants are fighting. Instead of leaving the grass to supper, then the headquarters come in. What they normally do is like they get the chairman and the secretary of the party from outside the state so that they can pilot the whole thing and then they are new term. And then those warring parties, then they will be asked to contribute a certain number of uh, people to city according to whatever the, the, the national uh, uh, headquarters approved. Five, seven, ten, and at present, we are starting two from the outside. Our own chairman is from Yoma State, and the secretary is from Katuna State. So they pilot and they moderate the running of the affairs of the party for some time, a stated time, so that uh, after that, when nerves were cooled, everything was quiet, and then some kind of understanding has crept in between the two warring parties, then a date will be fixed for the Congress for the same state to come and contest to all those party positions. And then the caretaker committee will withdraw. And that's what exactly happened. And that's what we have been doing. By now, we have an independent uh, party headquarters. Before, it is with somebody. Somebody may fund and then may donate a place as a party. Probably from there, you will find that it is because somebody has done it, well, we, he felt he can control or he can do this. So instead of uh, to, 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 to avoid that, now, under our own leadership, we have a completely new uh, uh, party uh, uh, office. We have all our staff, we have all our own ideas, we have started reconciling all facet of disagreement pockets, wherever they are, from top mm -hmm. to bottom. So that by the time we are about to finish our term, Everything is level, and then we conducted an election. All right. Um, and then uh, your that party seems to be, Mr. Osman, your party Come seems on. to be managing a lot of crises all at the same time. So now let's talk about the PDP at the national level. The aggrieved G5 governors are yet to be placated. Why has this been so difficult to resolve? Oh, well, self interest. If I will go further with that, after all, here is a genuine gentleman. If I say genuine, I mean reasonable people, big people who serve, who knows what it is, who knows they are left and right. They come together and form a party. Most of them, they have already enjoyed the party right from the, when it started. You are either governors, or they are either commissioners, or they are vice presidents and whatnot, and even presidents. They know nitty gritty of this party. They know whatever is good for them, how they have been piloting this party right from the word book, and how they, they want the, in coming together means achieving a lot. And when you separate, then you know what happens. And now after that, you agree to come and elect Who's, who is supposed to lead you. You do it democratically as the party uh, uh, allows, as the constitution allows, and then thereafter, 
simply somebody felt slighted simply because he comes second. He felt it is Abbas right now, he has to be a vice president. The whole idea it, it is centered on self-centeredness, self-interest. So if somebody is number one. It is the same thing like classroom one we started. There are one to be in uh, in an exam. This one this one is number one. This is number two. Up to up to up to up to the last one. And it is the choice of the first one who is anointed to serve as the presidential candidate to, to select his own vice. I don't see if at all not self centeredness, uh, uh, personal interest. Uh, probably, I don't know, I don't want to use more, more of that. But right. that is exactly why. And with all these stations, everybody well-meaning Nigerians from all segments, all across the country, has come in to rescue this sort of disagreement. But all some right. people felt well, it is only them who will dictate and say yes, and then they say no, and then everybody has to obey. Well then, you know, going by um, recent developments, going by recent developments, are you not worried that the G5 governors, governors may go ahead and endorse another presidential candidate? We, I will definitely, and then I think every right-thinking person will feel otherwise. As I told you earlier on regarding this interview, that nobody will want to lose even a voter, one voter out of the electorate. What more of a state governor, a whole state? No matter whatever he is, he has applause. But the idea is somebody who, had, by God's grace, happened to rise to that extent, and he failed to understand who he is. He is putting more of personal interest rather than that of the whole country. We have been going together all the way right from 1998 to date as a party. Why should this, at the prime time, after suffering eight years of uh, the fruitless uh, efforts, Ruthless leadership, hunger, you know, problem, bandits, kidnapping, all these sort of things. We want to get out of it. Everybody is, 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 is annoyed. Everybody is worried. Everybody wanted a way forward, a way out of it, this, this, this cockmare, this problem. All right. And then somebody closed his eyes, and they don't see that. All right. So I don't, I don't see that. By God's grace, God is with us. All right. Uh, you know, finally, finally, uh, the Southeast and the South South used to be the strongholds of the PDP. And now it seems the Labour Party and Pitalbi may snatch them from the PDP. How worried are you about this? I, 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 sorry, I, I don't agree with you. South South is still with us. From where is Okwa? He's from South South. All right. So. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't agree with you that uh, the, the, anybody will take that one from us. No. And even, the, even this Southwest you are talking, even though the, the APC candidate comes from there, still I tell you that we have a very, very large, very big chunk of it that will make a difference in even South, Southwest. Not even to talk of uh, South South. South South is just is a complete. Uh, 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 matter. We have already, it is in our party. It All is right. in PD. Yes, yes. All right, yes, then. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Habibu Uzman Adamu. Uh, he is a member of the caretaker committee of PDP in Kano State. Thank you for coming on politics tonight as we discuss Kano PDP crisis and the 2023 elections. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. All right, then let's take a short break. And when we return, it will be time to speak with another lawyer and public affairs analyst, Libra Sashoma, on unending pre-election litigations in the country. Please stay with us.